we're gonna, we're probably gonna die from this, but it's a glorious death. <laughs> Look at all the mortar fire. Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more of the last Leviathan. No time for BS. There was a series of updates that were made to the game. Very good updates, too. One of them uh, messed around with a lot of these blocks. You'll remember that the last time the double blocks had a lot more hit points than the single blocks. Now they're pretty much exactly the same. If you notice here, this health is 180 for this block and 360 for this block and then 300 and 600. The, really, the only difference now, the weights are completely the same too. If you notice, this one is 200 weight and this one is 400. So that's all doubled. The only benefit is you're getting about a, you know, 10% power discount by buying the double wooden cubes. And on top of that, it also does help with the rendering a little bit. Also, there is a ton of new blocks here. They have the curved wedges. We've got some supports, the spike supports. And then there's these ones too, which is these really, really narrow uh, curved wooden wedges and then some additional bows and there have you. Now beyond that, there is a new part to the game called damage resistance. If you notice here, we're going to go ahead and hover over these little fish scale armors here. And you can see the very beginning, the, the lowest level of fish scale armor has 150 health and 20 damage resistance compared to the higher tier which has 250 health and 60 damage resistance. So that's what we're dealing with now. There's a damage resistance mechanic in the game. Just something for you guys to understand. Also new stuff over in the weapons area. All of these weapons have changed their damage and costs around a little bit. The big one to note here though, and something that I'm very happy about, is that the triple mini cannons have definitely gotten a bit of a buff. They do more damage and they cost less power. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to show you guys that the mini cannons went from one of my most hated weapons in the game to one of my favorite weapons in the game. Now they do excellent. First though, I had to show you this boat because it's, well, this isn't a boat, I guess. This is an arachnid. But I had to show you this because it's amazing. Someone went ahead and made a spider. Yes, this is a spider boat. And damn it, they didn't do a good job because look at this thing. It is creeping right along in the water. A little bouncy here and there, but for the most part, it stays together. Look at this. It even has a little bit of damage on the front. Got a couple of triple mini cannons here that you could fire if you want to. What happens when a spider meets a landmine? They'll actually see one right over here. Let's run into it and see how well this thing can hold together. Now, to be fair... There is a lot of little wobbles going on here, and for good reason. I mean, this is an aesthetically interesting boat. I wouldn't call it structurally sound, so to speak. Can it hold? Can it hold together after taking some damage? <laughs> no. <laughs> but that was pretty cool to see. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Again, I had to show you guys that because it's a hilarious boat. One of the other things that changed in the game, besides a lot of different powers shifting around and the damage mechanic or damage resistance mechanic I should say is now you can get very extravagant ships to play at a reasonable frame rate I wanted to show you this behemoth of a ship this is what we're going up against today this is called the tier x super battleship this thing is completely and utterly ridiculous it has, well here, okay, so let's take a look at this thing real quick. This is 757 blocks. Obviously, this is a wild ship class battleship. Look at how many guns are on this thing. This is completely ridiculous. You have two tiers of flaming cannons on the sides. You have two tiers of deck cannons on the back. You have, I mean, do, do some multiplication here. You can find out how many mortars are just laying throughout the mid of the ship, and then two additional sets of tier three deck cannons on the front, as well as some fish scale armor, some spikes on the sides, and what the hell, a couple of scythes, because why not? What we're going to be trying to do is going up against this thing with a few different ships, and the very first thing I'm going to do is take John Carver 2 out of there. John Carver 2, a ship that... Uh, if you remember, the original John Carver had done it fairly well for himself. 
But what I wanted to do was put some additional mini cannons on it, and that is what I did. Let's use the USS Galaxy up against the Super X, the Tier X Super Battleship. The names on these things are getting way out of hand. Now you can see how well this game plays now. These two ships would have never been able to render on the screen. The FPS would have been terrible. Now you can hold down the shift button and it will show an arc for your various weaponries. But we're going to be using the first person view here instead of that side view. Now a lot of this creature's firepower is on the sides. So we do not want to get broadsided. Let's see if we can use some of our speed to get right into the front here. Oh mother of god look at all of those mortars coming at us guys. Oh god. Jeez Louise! Holy turkey giblets, folks! It's a- it's- it's- I don't even know what's happening anymore. There's just parts and- and cannonballs everywhere. Oh my god! I can't even see what I'm targeting. Alright, let's go out of first person view. We'll see if we can fire- no, this- oh, oh my god. This ship, this crazy ship that we're up against, has cannons on all sides of it. There's no side that is safe to approach from. We're gonna try though. Let's try and go to this side on our ship. This would be the starboard side. Some of the fires are starting to go out. That's nice. From here, we should be able to get another barrage in. But man, we took a lot of damage real fast. I don't know if we're gonna be able to salvage this fight. But I'm not willing to give up quite yet. Let's give the Tier X Super Battleship a run for its money. Sir, whoever made this thing, you, I salute you. But I still have to try and take you down right about here. All right, boys. We've got an absolute ton of cannonry incoming. But that's no reason to stop firing into the seas. Here we go. Jack Sparrow would be proud. Oh. Oh, we've done some damage, guys. I can see we've wiped off quite a- Oh, God, I can't even aim. Oh, hold on. I need to get out of this view so we can see this death. We're gonna- We're probably gonna die from this. But it's a glorious death. <laughs> Look at all the mortar fire. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Sweet Jiminy Christmas! I think I'll go ahead and surrender. <laughs> I would be really surprised if there was anything left of the ship. Now, we did do a little bit of damage, so I feel decent about that. Let's put something up. Let's put something else up against the Super X Battleship. Uh, what else do I have here? I know I downloaded quite a few other creatures. Look at this thing. The SS Morgan. Morgan, the power... Over a hundred thousand power on this ship. I'm willing to give this a shot. Now, these are some really big ships on the screen. I have not seen if this will work for the... Ooh, for the frame rate. Not bad at all. How do you like this? It's working. Oh, this thing is like... It's like driving a Skyjack that's got... <laughs> that's it's just like an underpowered Skyjack using some sort of Briz and Stratton engine from 1945. Oh, no. How long will it be until we reach our destination to fight? Oh, God. Oh, we already have a ton of fire coming in. Oh, you scallywag bastard. I'm going down swinging. I don't... Oh, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Oh my god, it knocked! It- okay, please stop firing, there's no reason for this travesty. It knocked the steering column right out of our boat. Oh, wow! Okay guys, so clearly you can see that the Super X, Tier X, whatever ridiculous bullshit battle of the ship is a hell of a creature. So what we're gonna do is put, I'm gonna show you guys the power of the triple mini cannon. One of the biggest powers of this cannon that I found right now is being able to attack 
from a ridiculous distance. Let's put our uh, put our power at about half. Aim up here and start immediately firing a ton of mini cannons down range. We're going to see if we can carve through this complete and utter destroyer of a ship before it gets to us. I'll even slow down a little bit more so we can continue doing damage. Now, these mini cannons have been increased in their damage by about, I think, about 15%. And that is just the amount that they needed to get improved by to have a noticeable effect. Now, I don't know 100%, but I almost feel like they're a little bit faster, too. You can see, as we close in, we have literally chewed through this entire boat, and there's nothing left. Look at that. That is the power of these new triple mini cannons now. Now, you might say to yourself, well, all right. You used the distance to win that battle. Could you win if you were right up in that boat's face? I honestly have no clue. But let's give it a shot. Um, I don't think that we will win this fight. I think that the mortar on that ship is going to just completely destroy us. But in the meantime, I am going to try and get as much damage down there as I can. Now, the only issue that I've come up with is that the way I have put the top... The top cannon, yeah, you see that right there? We end up kind of taking a bunch of hits from our own cannons if I have to fire, like, at a, at a slight angle. But, alright, that didn't work at all. Oh, boy. See, this is bad. This is bad. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't know where we are. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Oh, oh, hold on. We're still in one piece. We may be able to... We're taking a ton of damage. Let's kind of get around back here and see if we could lay in a little bit of fire. I don't even know if there's any cannons up here that aren't on fire that we can fire with. Ooh, there is! Here we go! Oh, no! Oh, it just severed the back of our boat off. Well, in, in retrospect, this was probably a bad idea. Oh, our boat is just melting around us because it's on fire. There's nothing left. I don't care, though. We're not a coward. <laughs> the boat ripped in half. Okay, it was... The, the sea brings shame to the best of us. You lost. Yeah, well, thanks for that. Yes, I got it. I lost. But I think it was a valiant death. Now, there's one other ship that I do want to put against this dastardly, this dastardly creature. And, of course, that is going to be Grindulus the Mighty. Can Grindulus stay, stand up to these new ships now that people can put a literal ton of of guns on their ships and get them into the fight. I don't know. I kind of feel like Grindulus can't win this because look at how many guns that thing has. I feel like Grindulus is actually a little bit faster here. This is weird. Now, I, I haven't taken the time to precisely look at all of the different propellers and sails to see how different they are. I've mainly wanted to look at just the blocks and stuff. And I have to get involved making new ships with those new blocks. I am going to get into that. But I do know that there is a damage resistance mechanic on these spikes. So it's possible that these spikes will protect us a little bit from getting chewed up. Let's see here. We're not going to want to come on that side there because we will get absolutely murdered. Yeah, you can see there, he's got a ton of mortars coming straight at us. Holy jeez. We just got chewed up big time. Grindulus is not one to give himself up so easily, though. We are grinding away, guys. Holy cow. Grindulus is doing pretty good. Look at him flipping that boat up around. And the, the entire boat, a lot of that boat was on fire, too. Well, we've knocked it over now, so I think we're going to win that way. But holy, holy crap. Grindulus managed to stick in there somehow. I'm pretty impressed. About a third of our boat left keeping things alive. So, things to say about the last Leviathan. Now, this is awesome. The new optimization that the guys have in the game. Mega optimization round is complete. Go battle a galleon. You're damn right. This optimization is fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to putting huge ships against one another. I love it when all those cannons are flying and there's just... Wood pieces and blocks exploding all over the seas. That's so cool. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Last Leviathan. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.